Sheriff Geller. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Uh, I'll be brief. Most of what I have has already been said. I'm here on three bills specifically, but I agree generally with um, all the bills that are in this package. Um, Senate Bill 184, Senator Norman's bill, I don't think I could have said it better than Senator Brosen just said it. About 80% of the states now recognize, um, absent a reason to prohibit, that they issue a permit. And as I, I testified in support of this bill version last year and said that I've gone the extra measure of making sure my correctional deputies have the ability because of the same reason, self-defense or, or for their personal protection, that they can um, facilitate the process of making sure they get handgun <coughs> permits and that citizens deserve that same consideration and right. On 214, um, you heard that this was a, uh, the ability for the state police superintendent, not that they had to, not that he had to, but that it may um, issue under emergency circumstances. And again, it, it's to his decision, um, not that it became a, a mandatory thing, but uh, just restores an ability that was, I think, inadvertently taken away as part of the Firearm Safety Act of 2013. And I think it's important to note the physical note, physical note there's no money associated with this, and the state police do not oppose it, um, which, is, which is very important. And finally, if I may, on 229, which is not part of this package, but I'm here on that, uh, Senator Cashley's bill in a little bit, um, it's the single shot requirement that's part of the HQL. Uh, may I offer this just real quick and then sure. you don't have to see me again? <laughs> the, uh, you. Thanks, sir. The uh, single shot requirement on the HQL was added through Comar, not through part of the legislation in 2013. Um, so it wasn't, uh, it doesn't require any sort of proficiency other than to safely make the gun go bang. We've heard stories about people putting the gun in vices and people operating the trigger and the gun safely goes off. I, I think it's firmly 100% my belief that this single shot was added in order to make it more difficult on the locations that you can offer the training and that makes it more difficult for people to get the HQL and get their, um, have their Second Amendment right to own a firearm. So we'd like to see that single shot uh, removed for that reason. Uh, and again, this is a bill with no fiscal impact and that the state police are not opposing. Thank you.